Okay, I am ready to begin working on making the birds. These things have been prepped. They are as far as I want to go, as far as prep concern. I've got a uh, little bitty T-square. Probably won't need it. I think I have more than enough of these popsicle sticks. And I'm out of my temporary area and my temporary little hobby spot. So I'm working on a nice table. So I'm hoping that this piece of cutout here will protect the table enough while I do some snipping. So what I want to do is take these things and I'm going to cut them in half and glue them up and come up with some sort of a design for something that would be fairly simple, like maybe in an arc shape and the front of it will have a little bit of a, a nozzle and a, uh, not a, what do you call it? A, uh, a wing, two wings on it. That way there, it will throw the sound out this way. I'm going to have it at an angle like this and then have two flares on each end. From what I've seen, that helps to, to sharpen the sound. And uh, I think it's going to be good for this one at least. So I'm going to build two of these for now. And uh, one other thing I have to make is on the inside, I'm going to have to build a, about a half inch thick round piece that's going to get glued in here between the uh, the outlet hole and the inlet hole, the actual the whistle area, the flue, is going to need a block on the inside of here that I'm going to glue in. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet, but I'll get there. So let's build. something here. In order for me to get a flat surface on the flue, I had to make sure that I not only held these on the sides, but that I squeezed the two together. So these two are just actually holding the pieces while this one here clamps them together, just like you would in larger boards on a workbench. So this is going to hold this for a little while, and then I'll start stacking up from here. And as they all the surfaces mate, they will become like one piece of wood. <laughs> point out where I stopped here. I just finished with the first bird. Doesn't look like a bird right now. It looks like a bunch of sticks glued together. But uh, I've got a rounded top here. And the reason why I remade it was because if you didn't see it, I stopped and went with something larger. It just didn't look like a big enough uh, bird for the flute. So I imagine when they make these things, they go more than just the covered area and they go back that side. So this is the half inch right here, and uh, once I get done grinding it down and stuff uh, with maybe this, or I could go with some a couple of through holes, I have no idea what I'm going to design it to look like, but I know that this part here is going to have a channel right down here and have two wings because that's what I hear throws the sound out louder, gives it a bigger voice. So I have to flatten this area where the bird will sit. And uh, I imagine I'm going to do that with a file or some sort of sanding. I do not have a Forstner bit to cut that down to size, so I'm going to have to take it the old-fashioned way. And plus, I'm kind of afraid of using anything uh, and, and breaking this wood because it is just thin popsicle sticks. So anyway, this is the size of it for now, and so I've got to cut these down to size and give them some sort of a shape and design maybe with my Dremel tool. I don't know. It's uh, wide open at this point, so they're both going to get one, and I'm building the second one now, and then when I get done, I'll hit the garage and start doing some shaping and some hole drilling and see if I can't get a sound out of this thing. I'm kind of anxious for it. <laughs> 